Good morning. Our psalm of the day today is Psalm 91. I recall the story of a little boy who attended his friend's birthday party. When the time came to open the presents, he howled and cried because the presents weren't for him and he couldn't open them. His mother knelt down beside him and spoke firmly but gently. It's not about you. I think if we're going to make sense of Psalm 91, we have to hear the same words. It's not about you. Well, if it's not about me, then who is it about? Well, it's about the Messiah, the Son of God. Do you remember in the Gospels when Jesus was tempted by the devil? He's taken to the highest point of the temple. The devil tells Jesus that if he's the Son of God, he should throw himself down. For, and he quotes verse 11 and 12, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus rightly resisted the temptation, but the interpretation was right. Psalm 91 is about the Messiah, God's Son. And it's about Jesus, the Son of God. Notice the protection that God promises him. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. I'm reminded of the time in Nazareth, when the people drove Jesus out of the town, and took him to the brow of the hill on which the town was built in order to throw him off the cliff. But he walked right through the crowd and went on his way. Jesus trusted his father, and his father protected his son. And it's about Jesus, even though he was crucified. In Matthew's Gospel, when they arrest Jesus before his crucifixion, he says, Do you think I cannot call on my Father, and he will at once put at my disposal more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the Scriptures be fulfilled that it must happen in this way? Despite the promise of protection, Jesus knew that his Father's will was also the cross. It must happen this way. But he also knew that the cross was not the end of the story, as the end of this song predicts. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In his resurrection, God delivered Jesus from death and satisfied him with eternal life. So if this psalm is not about me or you, is there anything here for us? Oh yes, because it's about Jesus who conquered for us. Notice in the psalm it says, You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. And through Jesus' death and resurrection for us, the devil, the great serpent, has been trodden and trampled. As John tells us, the reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. So as we take refuge in Jesus today, we can know that God is for us, not against us, that Christ is at his right hand, interceding for us, and that nothing in all creation can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Faith, see the place and see the tree, where heaven's prince instead of me was nailed to bear my shame. Bruised was the dragon by the sun, though two had wounds, there conquered one, 
and Jesus was his name. Amen.